Severus Snape. This is week six in which we discuss our possible careers. Before I start on that though, there are some comments I want to say about the slug club meeting I was telling you about in the last video. Or at least what I can actually say about it. Still hush hush and all that. I don't think I've ever seen so many different kinds of sweets and desserts all concentrated into one area before. There was just food everywhere. Most of the other students that attended I had never seen before, which is hardly surprising. Most of them were seniors and juniors. Still, sometimes the conversation was interesting. Though honestly, I think the party was more for Slughorn than the rest of us. There's another party in a few months, so I've heard. I haven't decided if I'm going to go to it yet. One of the seniors had too much to drink and nearly threw up on me. That sort of put me out of the party mood for a while. But thankfully... Through conditioned memory strengthening techniques, I'm steadily improving as the weeks go by. I've returned to classes, which is good news for my sanity. As much as I love my dimly lit dorm, even I have to admit I enjoy getting out now that I have the chance. What do I want to do as a career? Well, I think I have it pretty well figured out. It shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who's seen my previous videos. I've talked about it briefly, but now I have the opportunity to delve a little deeper into why I want to do what I want to do. I'm studying forensic science, specifically how to read crime scenes. My major is biochemistry, of course, with a focus on death rather than life. I don't squirm when I see dead things. I want to know what happened to them. It's informative to see how long a body decomposes in the heat rather than the cold, how long they stay preserved. I suppose I want to go into this field because it's rewarding in its own way trying to work and solve what happened to someone. It's too late for them, certainly, but I'm sure their families would appreciate my finding out answers to their questions. Murder is always devastating, not just for the victim, but for everyone involved. If I could help them in just some small capacity, then I'd be pleased. Eventually, it might be lucrative to teach. Depending on how well I do in the field and how far I decide to take my education, teaching might be something secure to fall back on. I don't mind lecturing or speaking in front of crowds. Just because I tend to hate people doesn't mean I don't know how to talk to them, at least from an intellectual standpoint. And I always have the tendency to think that most people need more education anyway. Why do I do all of this? Because it's something I'm passionate about. You always hear people say, find something that makes you happy, and then somehow a job turns into a career and therefore it's something more enjoyable. I still haven't really understood that concept yet, but who knows, I might be lucky enough to. What I would like to do is to incorporate my knowledge from biochemistry into my work with forensic science. I have a feeling the two would mesh quite well together. The more I understand the human body and how it functions, the better I'll be able to apply myself to solving someone's death, whether by homicide or something else. For me, it isn't just about being able to dissect someone to find the root of the problem, Although, I've admitted before how much I'm looking forward to my first real autopsy. I'm not doing this for nefarious reasons or sick pleasures. This isn't enjoyable to me in that sense. Just, death isn't something I eat up. It's something I respect, just as much as I respect the aspects of life from biochemistry. I enjoy things that are concrete, and between my two focuses of study, there's a fluidity that I appreciate. But essentially, this all comes down to helping people in the end. Well, that's it for now. I still get headaches from time to time thanks to my fracture. So, here's me signing off.